Hello everyone, this is Alex of Vending Machine Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the price on an Automatic Products 130 and 930 series snack vending machine. This is going to include models 131, 132, and 133, as well as the 931, 932, and 933 series machines. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the price for each individual selections, how to set the price for the entire tray, as well as how to set the price for the entire machine. I'll also show you the three different ways you can get to the price setting menu on the control board. Now, if you found this video useful, I really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. And if you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below. I am happy to answer those questions. I want you to be successful in operating your vending equipment. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to do to start setting the prices on an Automatic Products 130 or 930 series snack vending machine is to open the main door. Now, once we have the main door open, we'll be focusing our attention over here on the right-hand side, which I always call the monetary door. Now, this little door does swing open to the left, and this houses our main control board, our dollar bill acceptor, the coin changer, as well on the right-hand side is our on and off switch. Now, when programming the machine, we're only going to be using the main keypad and the lower keypad here. Now, when you first open the door, the display should read, no errors, press C for modes. Now, if you're, when you open your door and your machine does not read that, more likely you have an error that you're going to need to clear out. Now, to clear the errors on the control board, you simply press the pound key followed by the asterisk or the star key. And at that point, you'll be presented with the no errors, press C for modes. Now, to get to the price setting, there's three different ways. You can simply press the shortcut key or the function key down here on the lower keypad, which says set price. That will jump you right into price assignment. You can also press C for modes to enter the mode options and then navigate down by pressing the right or left arrow keys until you get to price assignment. Price assignment. The last thing you can do is you can actually enter in the option number for price assignment, which is 20. We can simply hit 20 and that will put us directly into price assignment. So here it tells me price assignment 20 push pound to enter. So I press the pound key. Now here I'm presented with two fields. We have price with the blinking cursor after it and then underneath that we have selection. Now on this machine I've got the top tray set for $1.25 for three selections and then the last two selections $1.50 and $1.75. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to price in individual selections. So the first thing you do, my first selection here, 100, is set for $1.25 so I need to key in 125. Now that's entered in the field, it says $1.25, and I need to move the cursor down to the selection field. Now to do that, you can press the left or right arrow keys and move the cursor. Cursor is now brought down to the selection field, and now I'll key in the selections I need to be at $1.25. So here I need to key in 100, 102, and 104. So I enter in 100. Now here, the price is now saved. As soon as you enter the last digit of that selection, the price is then saved. Now I move into my next selection, which is 102. It's still $1.25. Hit 102. Now that price is saved. Now the next one is 104. That's $1.25. 104. And now I've got these first three selections here set to $1.25. Now 106 is $1.50. So I need, now need to move the cursor back up to the price field to create a new price. To do that, I press the right or left arrow key. The cursor is now moved up into the price field. And the way I've always done this, I've always nullified or pressed zeros on the screen so I have only zeros shown on the display and then I create my new price. So I hit all zeros. Now I have just zeros on the display and now I need to key and create my new price which is a dollar fifty. So I hit one five zero. And now I need to move my cursor key back down to the selection field by using the right or left arrow keys. Got the blinking cursor on the selection. I need to key in 106. Now this selection is now set for $1.50. Now my last selection, which is 108, is set for $1.75. So now I need to create a new price for that. 
Again, I press the right or left arrow keys to move my cursor up. I press zero to nullify the price. And now I need to create my new price, which is 175. Now at this point, I need to bring my cursor back down to the selection field by using the right or left arrow keys. And now I need to key in that selection, which is 108. And that's saved. And then, now, you don't have to go in any sort of sequential order. You could have a $1.75, and if I had other selections in the machine that were at $1.75, I could simply just key in those items. You can see how that could be a bit cumbersome. So there's actually is a shortcut that can be used when you want to set an entire tray to one price. So my second trade here is everything on that is set for $1.50. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this tray to $1.50 at once. So to do that, I need to create the $1.50 price. So I move my cursor using a left or right arrow keys up to the price field. I then nullify the price. So I have all zeros on the display. And now at that point, I'm going to create my $1.50 price, one, five, zero. Now here I'm gonna move my cursor back down to my selection field using the left or right arrow keys. Now here's the trick for the shortcut. Since this selection starts off with 110, 112, 114, 116, and 118, if I key in 11 asterisk or star, that will assign that price to this tray because it starts with 11. So to do that, I simply press 11 asterisk, and now this entire tray is set for $1.50. We can go a step further. Let's say the most common price in our machine is $1.50. So it makes sense for us to go ahead and price everything at $1.50 and then go in and make those individual changes, kind of save some time. So to do that, we simply create the price. I want to do everything at $1.50, so I don't need to change anything there. But now I'm going to key in one asterisk asterisk and that's gonna assign the $1.50 price, or any price that's shown in the price field, to everything inside the machine. So to do that, I'm gonna press one asterisk asterisk, and that long beep lets you know that you just assigned a price to everything in the machine. Now a little tip I would have is if you're first pricing this machine up, so go ahead and put your products in the machine. And once you have your products in the machine, you can then do your program because then you have a visual reference of what product goes where at what price. Now once you're done setting your prices on your machine, you can simply just close the door or up here is what we call an interlock switch or a door switch if I was actually press and hold this down. Now the computer board is going and scanning all the motors and at this point it's going to kick back and say no shelf 7. Um, because this machine uses a zero numbering system. So this is actually shelf zero, shelf one, shelf two, shelf three, shelf four, shelf five, and shelf six. So there is no shelf seven in the machine. So that's why it reports back there is no shelf seven. And at that point, you can go on your way. As you can see, it's not very difficult to price up an automatic products 130 or 930 series snack vending machine. Now, if you found this video useful, remember to like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.